Well, guys, we need to talk about my state governor here in the great state of Texas, Greg Abbott, because Greg Abbott has now broken Eric Adams. Now, Greg Abbott is the one that actually started busing illegal aliens to these liberal run cities and states. You know, they say that they're actually um, sanctuary cities and sanctuary states. And then quickly, guys, the people that vote for Democrats and even the politicians now, they're like, we don't want these people here. I did a video on uh, Chicago, man. The people in Hyde Park, they went full blown MAGA Republicans. Get these people out of here. This is wrong. They are melting down, guys. This is so hilarious, guys. And Greg Abbott has now broken the soul of New York City Mayor Eric Adams because there's a video going around, guys. Eric Adams is basically saying that New York is done. They're getting 10,000 illegal aliens a month. To me, guys, being in Texas, that number actually seems pretty low. But shout out to Greg Abbott, man. When he started doing this, I was like, all right, this sounds pretty good. But eventually, guys, we got to start um, start um, deporting these people back across the border. But now, guys, Greg Abbott should actually continue this. He should continue to do this, guys, because these liberals, man, they are breaking down. Their cities are getting destroyed. I mean, the pictures out there of illegal aliens in police stations, schools. And guess what? The Democrat voters don't want those people there. I mean, pretty much, guys, the sanctuary cities. Those days are numbered. I believe it's going to be over with, man. That's why Greg Abbott needs to continue to bust these illegals into these liberal run cities because liberals, man, they have been exposed. They're frauds, they're hypocrites. And guys, really, 10,000 illegals a month. That is way less than what we actually get over here in uh, in Texas. I mean, Houston probably gets way more than that on a daily basis. And one of um, Joe Biden's illegal aliens actually uh, raped and murdered an 11 year old girl right down the road from me in Pasadena. Yeah. Courtesy of Joe Biden and Eric Adams, man, he's melting down. He's melting down. Now, Eric Adams, my question is when it comes time for 2024, who will you be casting your vote for when it comes to president? Donald Trump said, build the wall. Oh, Democrats said, oh, walls are racist. But now that illegal immigration is starting to hit them at their front door. They don't want it, guys. They do not want it. These people are hypocrites, hypocrites. I believe that immigration is going to be a bit part of the 2024 election. Let's go ahead and get into this, guys. This clip is going around right here. Look at this. New York City Mayor Eric Adams explodes. The migrants will destroy New York City and everyone will be impacted. That is his words, not mine. He's starting to sound like a MAGA Republican, guys. And don't worry, don't worry, because MSNBC, boy, they are triggered by Eric Adams here. Let's go ahead and play this clip, guys. Listen in. No support. And let me tell you something, New Yorkers. Never in my life have I had a problem that I did not see an ending to. I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. We're getting 10,000 migrants a month. One time we were just in Venezuela. Now we're in Ecuador. Now we're getting Russian speaking coming through Mexico. Now we're getting uh, Western Africa. Now we're getting people from all over the globe have made their minds up that they're going to come through the southern part of the border and come into New York City. And everyone is saying it's New York City's problem. Every community in this city is going to be impacted. We got a $12 billion deficit that we're going to have to cut. Every service in this city is going to be impacted. Yeah, your taxpayer monies, guys, they're going to cut, they're going to cut your services for illegals. You guys voted for this. Remember that you guys voted for this. Vote Trump 2024 and this thing will go away. All of us. And so I say to you, as I turn it over to you, this is some, some of the most educated, some of the most knowledgeable 
probably more of my commissioners and deputy commissioners and chiefs live in this community. So as you asked me a question about migrants, tell me what role you played. How many of you organized to stop what they're doing to us? How many of you were part of the movement to say, we're seeing what this mayor is trying to do and they're destroying New York City? It's gonna come to your neighborhoods. All of us are gonna be impacted by this. I said it last year when we had 15,000, I'm telling you now, with 110,000, the city we knew, we're about to lose. And we're all in this together, all of us. Staten Island is saying, send them out to Manhattan. Manhattan is saying, send them out to Queens. <laughs> Queens is saying, send them out to Brooklyn. No, it's not the game we can play. Open the floor up. I can help but laugh, man. I cannot help but laugh because... This is what they voted for, guys. This is what they voted for. And, and by the way, Eric Adams in 2020, boy, he was definitely sounding a lot different. He was actually singing a different tune back in 2020. Let's go here to Fox News, man. I'm still laughing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try not to laugh, but I can't help it, guys. But I know I know I'm going to laugh. Look at this here. MSNBC host rips Eric Adams as Trump knockoff over Migrant comments. Yes, MSNBC, man, the most far left organization in the media out there. They're calling Eric Adams, a black man, a Trump knockoff. You cannot make this up, guys. You cannot make this up. But um, let's go ahead and um, and get into this. And it does mention here that Adams um, blame my governor, Greg Abbott. For busing illegal aliens over there to their sanctuary city. You're a sanctuary city, right? So you should actually be accepting of these people. But let's go ahead and get into this, man. This is hilarious here. It talks about the clip we just watched here. But it says here, his comments shock users across social media, including a large swath of conservative commentators who mock Adams shifting attitudes on immigration. Elon Musk, responding to the video, tweeted, yikes. So New Yorkers are getting exactly what they voted for. Democrats didn't lie. Another X account chimed in. Several users pointed to a tweet from Adams posted on October 21st, 2020, as evidence of his prior support of mass immigration into the city. This is what Eric Adams posted Two years ago, guys, <laughs> it's really funny, guys, how times have changed. This is what he actually put out there. We should protect our immigrants, period. Yes, New York City will remain a sanctuary city <laughs> under an Adams administration. <laughs> now he said that New York City is going to get destroyed by these illegals coming in. You cannot make this up, guys. You can't make this up. This is so funny, but <laughs> let's get into um the MSNBC guy. Uh, what is his name? Um, Madani Hassan. He says this. I have seen the Eric Adams clip claiming migrants will destroy New York City. It is awful. There is a reason why Republicans and far right votes are gleefully sharing it. New York Dems could have had Maya Wiley. As mayor, but they went for the ridiculous Adams, a Trump knockoff. Boy, this is hilarious, man. This is hilarious. New York is getting exactly what they voted for. Exactly what they voted for. Now the voters in New York, New York City, vote blue no, no matter who. That said, nah. You need to get these people out of here. Eric Adams said, yeah, hey, if this continues, man. New York City is done. The sanctuary thing, man, sanctuary cities. It should be illegal anyway, but I truly do believe, guys, that sanctuary cities were nothing more than a virtue signal. Nothing more. These people don't care about, quote unquote, migrants. They don't. We have seen how they've uh, actually talked about these illegal aliens coming into that city. The voters, Democrat voters, get them out of here. The politicians saying, hey, this needs to stop. 
But you guys voted for this. You guys actually said you were a sanctuary city. You're getting what you actually wanted. You're getting what you what, what you actually voted for. And now you're melting down. This is hilarious, guys. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.